Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Praise the Lord to everyone. Um, hello, YouTube world. Um, it's been a minute. Um, you know, just one word I can describe is life. Um, I wanted to be consistent with this, but life happens, you know, being full-time mother wife and ongoing so we just wanted to uh, bless you with the word from the lord on today um just thinking about two words sow and reap and if i could grab your attention um and read about a few passages of scriptures and the scriptures that i've chosen on today it will be coming out of galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8 and it reads as thus be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting Okay, let's go back up to verse 7. We're talking about sowing and reaping. Okay, when you sow a seed in the ground, say for instance, um, you have a passion um, for vegetables or you have a passion for flowers, whatever, whatever kind of garden you desire to have, you will go out and get the supplies that you need. You need the correct soil in order for that seed to grow. Uh, that seed is going to need water in order for that seed to grow. Just placing the seed in the soil and just leave it there. You cannot expect anything to come up. So we're talking about sowing and reaping. Um, it says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Well, you find mocked means there's no imitation um there's no one like him he's god and he's god alone can't no one be god but god no matter how much you try to make mockery of him it will never be and if you decided to do so there's going to be some consequences and repercussions and the scripture says whatever you sow you will reap so if you reap in the flesh, um, you will reap corruption. What that means is when we reap in the flesh, we desire to do what we desire to do. Um, whatever our thoughts are, um, we act upon. Um, in our ministry, we had an elder would always say, what you do is what you think and what you think is what you do. I find it to be so true. So if your mind takes you to plant a seed of discord, um, you're going to plant that seed of discord. Um, you're going to cause tragedy on your life because of the mockery that you're making of that individual or that situation. So we have to be mindful that the seeds we sow and then the seeds that we sow for someone else, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to tell you, they won't prosper because it's going to come back to you. That's why I said, whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. And then say the other person's going to reap that. You're going to reap that. So just be mindful of how you treat someone or how you treat a circumstance. If you sow a seed of, like I said, of discord, among the brethren that's uh, one of the scriptures in proverbs just be very careful not sowing the seeds of discord among the brethren um that's you know on our spiritual side which will become natural okay it's going to become natural it's going to prosper prosper in its natural state but you just have to be very careful how you conduct yourself in this life all you know how to be is low down nasty dirty aggressive you i mean you ain't got 
you ain't you heard what i said not you're not but you ain't got nothing i'm a southerner you ain't got nothing going on but to be evil what kind of seed what kind of seed you think you're sowing what would you think that you will reap you will not reap anything that is good because my bible tells me jesus says no, not one good fruit can produce evil fruit and not one evil fruit can produce good fruit. It just won't work. There won't be bitter with bitter will not become sweet and sweet will not become bitter. Bitter is going to always be bitter and sweet will always be sweet. Right will always be right and wrong will always be wrong. You cannot mix them um so if all you know is to raise sand all your life you living a hellish life you're going to reap a hellish everlasting if you are out here sowing a good life and you are lined up with god's word you're going to reap a great eternal life if you go throughout your life causing havoc on your family and on you, co-workers, on you, <laughs> everywhere you go, everywhere you go, you got something, you got something going on. So why would you think you're going to reap something good, sweetheart? And you wonder why you keep making the same mistakes. You wonder why nothing is going great in your life. And you wonder why God is quiet. He's not speaking to you because you turn a deaf ear to him. My sisters and brothers always remember that. That just God and that wonderful God that you serve, he can also get angry. And he can repay you for the things that you do to others. You have to be careful. You have to be mindful of that. Yes, he's loving. And yes, he's just. And yes, he's righteous. And yes, he pours out blessings. You know, hallelujah. I thank the Lord for many blessings. But you have to understand that you have an adversary. And that is Satan. And Satan job is to kill steal and destroy you and you have to you have to know these things he wants you to kill steal and destroy yourself he wants you to kill steal and destroy the people that you you say that you love you say you love this person you say you love, love that person but yes you you still want to do harm to these people that you claim that you love. You want to do so much harm to these people that you claim you love. Oh, I love my mother. I love my father. I love my grandparents. I love my children. I love my best friend. I love my relatives. I love this person. I love that person. But every time something goes down, you're not on that end of love. You're on that end of hate and rage and anger. It is always someone else's fault but yours. You don't never amount up to, to anything good. Everything about you is evil. So sowing and reaping. God cannot be mocked. mocked. There's no imitation. There's no duplicate. Can't nobody be God but God. And can't nobody be God. <laughs> He's undefeated and will always be, honey. So just be careful. Why are you out here in these streets stirring up so much strife, stirring up so much mess? And you think that you're going to get something good out of it, sweetheart, I'm telling you. As the old folk would say down here in the South, babe, you got you headed to two things, jail or hell. Which one you want to pick? You keep playing with your life. <laughs> Those seeds that you think that you're sowing to someone else, baby, them for you. Especially if you're doing something that is evil. And that is not like God. You know, I have so many people that have uh, been in my presence. I wouldn't say in my life, but in my presence. That have 
mistreated me and they thought they had me baby they thought they had me but i'm telling you when we allow god to be god and let god handle the situation oh vengeance is his honey i don't have to do anything i don't have to say anything we don't have to do it we gotta allow god to do his great and perfect will so you just can't be out here in these streets thinking that you can just do whatever you want to people and there's no consequences. A bullet, maybe one bullet, maybe several bullets put in you that hot iron, that steel, that bullet put in you, sweetheart. You may not survive that because you out here, as they would say, capping. And uh, that's how it happened. <laughs> Now you're six feet under of something that you could have, have avoid because the seed that you had sown and you reaped it. Or we out here selling wolf tickets that we know at the end of the day, someone going to purchase it. And it may be more than that. There's somebody. Several people may purchase that, 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 them wolf tickets that you're selling. Everybody don't play nice. Everybody don't fight like this. Everyone don't fight with this. They ready to in a heartbeat because of your mouth. This here will get us in a whole lot of trouble because of what we do with it. We want to cuss people. Okay. All right. That ain't what my mom named me. My name is Latasha. Okay. At the end of the day, my name is Natasha. I will not take your abuse and attach it to my character. I don't have to fight you. I don't have to, you know, look down upon you. I'm going to pray for you, sweetheart, because you don't know no better. You don't know no better, baby. You don't. You don't know any better. So, be careful how you conduct yourself in this world. It's too many lives are leaving here and they're leaving here without God. Every soul that leaves this earth, earth ain't going to heaven. Don't, don't be putting people to heaven and you know they, they're not about that sanctified life. They're not about that Holy Ghost life. We we take that lightly. A lot of us in my community take, I say, hey, say five feet with the Holy Ghost when I'm out of burning fire and ain't nowhere near it because your actions don't, it doesn't speak for itself. You stirring up a lot of mess. You like I said earlier, you sow, sowing seed of discord or seeds of discord. <sighs> you always in some mess. You're you're like a child. I know I want I can relate to this um growing up. I see a hornet's nest and I get a stick and poke that hornet's nest. I'm stirring that, that horn, those hornets up and they're, they're going to come down and attack me for stirring up the nest. They was at peace. They, they're making them a foundation. But here I come. want to be this bad, you know, and mess up their good thing. We only want to be in people's lives to destroy their life. What's, what's, wrong, what's wrong with y'all? Don't do that. Worry about you. Worry about you. Let, let, let them be alone. Let them alone. Sowing and reaping. So, if you sow in the flesh, this the Bible. This ain't me talking, honey. I'm just expounding on the word. If you sow into the flesh, if you got to get even, you're sowing into the flesh. Corruption's going to. It's going to happen to your in, into your home. Everything that you work so hard for will be taken away from you. It may not be taken away from you in that instance, but little by little things will be taken away from you. You'll have trouble in your home, within your marriage, with your children, your families, your jobs. You know, that's the kind of God that I serve. God can take something with you in a, in a flash or it can be, you know, little by little. Bit by bit. He's don't be deceived, honey. He's not mocked. Can't nobody can't nobody do God. We may think that we can do each other, but we cannot do God. We cannot beat God. We cannot hide from God. 
God knows our every being. He, he's the one that created us. He knows the hairs of the number of my head. And baby, I got plenty of hair. <laughs> plenty of it. You know, he knows our very thoughts. He's going to know our day and how it is planned according to how we allow him to plan it. Or we allow him to be a part of it. Or we just want to go out here and just do what we want to do. And we think we can just talk to people any kind of way. And then when it's their reaping, when their reaping comes, that same energy that you had to cuss those folk, to mistreat those folk, or whatever you're doing, that same energy that's going to come back to you. And it's going to come back to you in a way that you did not expect. Be careful of with your sowing and your reaping. My sisters and brothers, I'm here to tell you. Reap with a heavenly mind and not your mind. Um, I don't get at everybody. I don't bite at everybody when, they, when things come my way. I don't because that's, that's too much energy. That's too much energy being wasted. And getting upset because of what somebody said about me, how they feel about me. Okay, that's that's you. I'm 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 gonna get off here, okay, in a moment. But I want to leave you with this. I told myself, I said, Latasha, seek the peace of God, not man. Because if I seek the peace of man, I will always be miserable. I will never be satisfied. So I rather seek the peace of God. And one other thing that I would like to share with you all. Don't allow nothing to be attached to you that is not that's not your character. Don't, don't do it. If he, she, or them, or they, whoever has an issue with you because of themselves, how they want you to be, their perspective of how you should be, don't accept it because that's not who you are. And I'm going to stand strong on that. And I encourage you all to do as well. Seek the peace of God and not no one else on this earth. No one else. No one else. Don't seek the peace of no one else. And always remember to not allow anything to be attached to you. That is not you. I love you all with the love of Jesus. And remember, be careful what you sow. Because, honey, you are going to reap it. God bless you all and love each and every one of you with the love of Jesus. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. Bye-bye.